Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about Azure Arc. With Azure Arc, you can manage your non-Azure resources like your Kubernetes cluster, on-prem virtual machines and SQL servers on Azure as if they were running on Azure. In a hybrid world like today, this is a very powerful feature to have. If I scroll down a bit, we have the features that Azure Arc supports. As I said, it helps you manage centrally a wide range of resources like Kubernetes clusters, SQL servers and Linux or Windows virtual machines and Azure application services as well. I will get into this in a minute and also you can manage the life cycle of virtual machines that are running on Azure Stack HCI, the hyper-converged infrastructure service from Azure and also VMI environments as well. And also you can meet the governance requirements of these non-Azure resources through Azure policy and finally, we can use Azure role-based access control to provide access to these non-Azure resources through Azure portal. Now, if I scroll down, we have one more interesting feature that Azure Arc enables us to do and that is Azure Arc enabled application services. Usually what Azure Arc does is that it will bring your non-Azure or your on-premise or could be a different cloud as well, these resources into Azure. But with Azure Arc enabled application services, you can bring Azure services like app services, function apps and logic apps from Azure to other non-Azure infrastructures. For example, how this happens is that, let's say you have a Kubernetes cluster running on premises. You can connect that Kubernetes cluster to Azure and after connecting, when you create these services, instead of selecting the region for this deployment, you can direct, you can select the Kubernetes cluster that you have in your on-premise environment. So Azure will deploy Azure services like app services, function apps and logic apps to that environment. After the deployment, you'll be able to see that the containers are popping up in that Kubernetes cluster and you don't have to pay for these services because you're running these services in your on-prem environment and you can centrally manage everything. Now we have a better understanding of what Azure Arc is. Let's get right into a demo so that you will have a better understanding of this service. What I'm going to do is I have this virtual machine that is running in my local machine. It is a Windows Server virtual machine and I'm going to connect this virtual machine to Azure so that I can manage these using Azure portal. And if you want to try this out and if you don't have a virtual machine running in your computer or if you don't have Hyper-V installed, you can use another Azure virtual machine. For doing this, you can go into this page here. I will link this down below and you can stop certain services running on that virtual machine and you can connect that virtual machine as a Arc enabled server to Azure. There's no really point of doing it unless it is an educational thing because you, you don't have to connect an Azure virtual machine as an Arc enabled server to Azure. And when a server is connected to Azure, it becomes an Arc enabled server and it's treated as a resource in Azure. Each Arc enabled server has a resource ID, a managed identity and is managed as part of a resource group inside of a subscription. And as I said, Arc enabled servers benefit from standard Azure constructs such as inventory, policy tags and Azure Lighthouse. Now let me go into Azure portal and here I have created this resource group. Now I'm going to create the representation of this virtual machine on Azure. For that, let me go into create a resource and search for Arc. As you can see, we have a few options here. We have Kubernetes and a few other options. I'm going to go with servers because we are connecting a virtual machine to Azure. Now let me click create and we have a few options here. As you can see, we can connect a single server and multiple servers and you can add servers from update management and these are preview features. I'm going to go with add a single server. You should know a few things before going ahead and connecting your service to Azure. We have to whitelist few services because these are the endpoints that your virtual machine will connect to after configuring the virtual machine as an Arc enabled server. You should whitelist these and you should have local administrator permission in your local machine to run this script. And also you can connect to this device using a private endpoint through a virtual network. I'm not going into this in this video. Now let me click next here and now we have to specify the resource group. I'm going to go with Azure Arc demo, the resource group that we have created for this demo. And then we have to specify the region. I'm going to go with the closest region to me. The operating system, it's a Windows virtual machine that I have here and I'm going to connect through a public endpoint, not a proxy server or not a private endpoint. I'm going to click next and as you can see here we have a few default tags available for this resource. I'm going to keep them as it is. 
And now we have this script that we should run in our virtual machine to connect that to Azure. I'm going to copy this script here and then I'm going to go into my virtual machine and then open up PowerShell with administrator privileges and then I'm going to paste this script here. As you can see it is downloading all the other scripts that is required for connecting this virtual machine to Azure. Once this configuration is complete, the connected machine which is this virtual machine right here sends a regular heartbeat message every 5 minutes to Azure. When the heartbeat is not received, Azure portal will display this Arc enabled server as an offline server. Now as you can see here, it wants me to log in using device login. I'm going to copy this link here and then I'm going to paste it here. Alright, now let me insert this code as well. Alright, now let's wait for one or two minutes and come back. Alright, as you can see, we have successfully onboarded the resource to Azure. Now let me go into Azure portal and resource groups and Azure Arc demo and here we have my local virtual machine represented on Azure. Now if I go in, as you can see the status is connected and there are a few other information here as well. We have the computer name and operating system and um, manufacturer model and all that. On the left we have settings and operations and as I said we can use these features like extensions, policies, update management and all these to manage our non-Azure resources as if it was an Azure resource. Now in this video I'm going to show you three things. The first one is I'm going to show you how you can use Azure policy for managing compliance of these non-Azure resources and then I'm going to show you how you can use Azure log analytics workspace to view events of my non-Azure virtual machine. And finally, I'm going to show you how you can install IIS using Azure portal on this virtual machine using custom script extensions. Now let me go into home and our resource group and I'm going into policies to show how you can create policies and view compliance. And as you can see, I do not have any policy assignments for this resource group. I'm going to click on assign policy and the scope is this resource group and I can select the policy definition here. Since I'm planning to connect this virtual machine to Azure Log Analytics Workspace, I can add that policy so that we can see the compliance of it. Configure Azure Arc enabled Windows machine with Log Analytics agent connected to default Log Analytics Workspace and this is the policy that I'm going to introduce to this resource group. Now let me go ahead and create this policy and it usually takes around 15 to 30 minutes to validate this policy against the resources that I have in my resource group. As you can see it is not started. Let's come back to this after doing our log analytic workspace configuration and custom script extension demo that I'm planning to do. Now I'm going into the resource group again and the server and if I go into extensions as you can see I do not have any extensions installed already. Now I want to click add to install a new extension. First I'm going to install log analytics agent on this virtual machine. I'm going to click next and here we have to specify the workspace ID and a workspace key of a Azure log analytics workspace. Now let me create a new log analytics workspace. I'm going to click create and we can specify the resource group. I'm going to go with the existing resource group and then region. I'm going to name this Arc demo workspace and I'm going to click create. All right, our log analytics workspace is in place now. I'm going into that and if I go into agents management and as you can see we have zero Windows computers connected to it and zero Linux computers connected to it because we have just created this and I'm going to copy this workspace ID and primary key and I'm going to paste them here. All right, I'm going to review and create this log analytics Azure Arc extension. This can take around 3 to 5 minutes. Let's come back after this is complete. Alright, as you can see we have successfully installed the monitoring agent in my virtual machine. Now if I go into the workspace and logs and let's see, let's close this and we have a new table here, heartbeat. Let's see what we have in there. As you can see here, we have four heartbeats received from my virtual machine. And as you can see, we have a lot of information here. If I go into the columns of this table, 
we have OS information and also the remote IP country and all that information as well. And this is how you can connect a non-Azure virtual machine through Azure Arc to Azure Log Analytics workspace. The final thing that I'm going to show you is installing IIS in my virtual machine through Azure portal. Now let me go into the resource group again and I'm going into the Arc enabled server and and then I'm going into extensions as you can see we have one extension already installed and then I'm going to add this custom script extension for Windows. I'm going to click next. Now here we can upload the script that we want our virtual machine to run. Now I have already uploaded a script, a PowerShell file to this storage account. Now if I go into that storage account, it has a container, one container and inside of that container it has this script. Now let's see whether I can weave that. If I go into edit, as you can see it only has two lines. It just imports the, uh, the server manager and add this Windows feature. Now let me go back and select that PowerShell script. All right. And I do not have any arguments for the script here. Let me go ahead and review and create this custom script extension for Windows. This will take few minutes. Let's come back after that. As you can see, the custom script extension deployment is complete now. If I go into the virtual machine and server manager and let's try reopening this. As you can see here, we have IIS installed in the virtual machine and let me try to access it. Yeah, that works. Now as the final step, let's go into the resource group and see whether we have our policy compliant with our virtual machine now. Let me go into home and arc demo and policies. As you can see, it is 100% compliant because we have installed log analytics extension in my virtual machine. And that is why this is compliant. This is the end of this video. And in this video, I wanted to show you what Azure Arc is and what Arc enabled application services are. We saw how to connect a on-prem Hyper-V machine to Azure. We saw how Azure policy works with Azure Arc enabled servers and how to connect a virtual machine to Azure Log Analytics workspace. And finally, we saw how to run a script using a custom script extension and we installed IIS on my Arc enabled server. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. If you learned something new today, I will see you with another video like this. Thanks for watching.